Randall's face last night, and Randall has been playing great ball. Sometimes you will need that fire and uh, that competitiveness because the, uh, they still got a chance to make some playoffs. But slight, but it's getting the, it's pushing the boys in the right direction. Though. Mm-hmm. So they got into it last night. Yeah, Randall and Isaiah Thomas got into it last night. Isaiah Thomas jumped in Randall's face. Okay. And, you know, you got to play some ball. And he's been playing great ball lately. So, but that shows you, you know, I ain't scared to get in your face and get y'all guys going. And I like that. I uh, look, uh, ball yeah. like a brain that. And people yeah, and uh, ball too fast. Go ahead. Yeah, I was saying ball is more like damn. These guys don't want to play, or yeah. I try to do it myself type of guy. Yeah. But Randall, them guys were playing around uh, Lonzo, though. I feel like they were. I felt they had uh, Clarkson and um, Clarkson and Larry Nance Jr. down there. I think they were playing pretty decent ball. Yeah, they were playing a pretty good ball, I think. But I think they are uh, – I think with Isaiah, because they didn't have no outside shooting, I think they have been playing better mm-hmm. – you know, well, I since Isaiah's been there. Yeah. Yeah, that is true, though. Yeah. So. That's true. But, you know, like I said, you know, and they haven't had a, I think they're going on 30-something win. I know it ain't no big deal, but uh, last couple of years, about the last 45 years, they had, what, 20 wins or less, 19 <laughs> last year, uh, in the last couple of years. Lakers. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So they got a thirty. They got a chance to get in at the bottom. Yeah, got a chance to get in the bottom. They ain't like five games back, so they they still a little time, but you gotta play some ball. And ain't enough time on the thing for them to yeah. catch up. How many games they got left? Probably about eight games. Is that mean what was? It start with late April. It's coming. Start on probably. Yeah, it's coming to an end though soon. Yeah, they're gonna have to tighten up. Yeah. All right, C's. Let's go to a quick commercial real quick, and we'll be back in one. Quick All right. Second. All right. Y'all, uh, listen to J Real, J Real Hip Hop Show Sunday nights, eight o'clock. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Jay Real at the Real Hip Hop Show. Check the show out at the Real Hip Hop Show slash Spreaker. Extreme Radio. If you want your music played on the Real Hip Hop Show, send your music in MP3 form to the Real Hip Hop Show at Yahoo.com. Check us out. The Real Hip Hop Show slash Spreaker. Extreme Radio. Let's go. All right, that was J Real, J Real Hip Hop Show, Sundays at 8 o'clock. Now you got chatting up with Lady V coming on this Saturday at 8 o'clock. Check her out at stream radio slash stricker.com. And you got uh, Don't Believe the Hype will make their debut. And they say they promised they will make their debut uh, this Sunday at 8 o'clock. Um, and Street Stories. Still, uh, would be coming very soon, right, C's? Yeah, no doubt. We're coming yeah. up with new episodes as we speak, and I'm mean, getting getting interviews lined up. Yeah, so y'all be checking that out. Hey, this is Stream Radio. We we showing you, hey, we bring y'all what, what we supposed to doing what we can. Hope y'all enjoying the shows. Hope y'all, I, I thank y'all for tuning in. I see it's growing each and every week, hey, and we appreciate it. So, we thank y'all. No doubt. And uh, don't forget one more thing. 
YouTubers, Extreme Radio, uh, Spreaker.com slash Extreme Radio, and you enjoy all our shows. And uh, we got to talk about the seeds real quick. Uh, the football frenzies that's going on. And hold on, seeds, I got to do this. Let's just start. <laughs> he's, he's gone, please. He's gone. Eighty-four million dollars. He out of there, man. He out of there. Kirk Cousins, you know. He, he and I throw the bike. Yeah. So big up, Kirk. Uh, he's chilling at the mall today. Him and his wife, they walking through, signing autograph, kissing babies. You know, making it look good. So. And people asked me at work yesterday, you know, how can y'all let Kurt go? Kurt got the lead. I'm not saying cause Kurt a good quarterback. I always said that. But Kurt never wanted to be a Washington Redskin. And if you don't want that's to That's not there, true. That's not true. I'm sorry that you said that. I'm glad you, you finally <laughs> said that. He didn't like want to be a finally Redskin. correct you. Come on. I mean, I, I read, I read, a, uh, I read a, a, a post that he put up, and they asked him about the Redskins, <clears throat> and he's saying that they used to like when this kid asked him when he go get older, how was it being a Redskin, and he said that he's gonna tell him they were the best experience he ever had in his life, being a part of the Redskins, and he wanted to thank them for allowing him to be a part of the organization. Okay. So that man ain't talking nothing bad about them Redskins. That man gave that man a whole lot of I mean gave the Redskins a whole lot of admiration. And I felt I felt a certain type of way about that, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, then he he thanked them and you know, made on to the next step. And he never say nothing about Minnesota. Okay. See this is what I'm doing yeah. with this. See, that's just a bunch of crap that you're going to say to make your media look good, yourself look good. <laughs> that's what he <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs> He's just trying to make yourself look good. If you want to be a real skin, the offer was on the table, Seize. They gave you a contract. Because, oh, why do you, hey, Seize, the good point is, why did you never sign? And the money was there. And you couldn't be choice. I know you say you bet on yourself, but you mm -hmm. haven't been to the playoffs. And when you went to the playoffs, it was one time. The offer was like seventy-five million for a certain amount of years. They were offer him. He said no. They offered him another contract. I think they put a little more money in it. He said no. Every contract they gave him, he turned down. Sees so. It's, yes, of course he could say, uh, I think the Redskins will give me the opportunity. I love to hear my friend Lil Ray's here. He never wanted to be there. I, would, I heard it then from sources that he uh, if Bruce, he don't like Bruce Allen. Don't nobody like Bruce Allen, so I agree with him on that. That he, he'll sign if Bruce Allen will go on or something like that. Well, when... Um, the other GM was in charge. You still didn't sign. So, it's just a bunch of crap that he was saying to make himself look good. So, he wanted to be gone. And then, the day they called him, the day they got Alex Smith, they called him before they went and got Alex. They said, are you attending the sign? He said, no, not right now. What's that, see? Hey man, listen. Sometimes it's time to go. Sometimes it's just time to go, man. Hey, he been man, wanting to go. <laughs> no, he ain't. Been. He gave them people an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't. You know what I mean? They didn't give him the backing that he felt like he needs. So it's yeah. okay, man. And then they don't get along with the with Bruce Allen. So I might as well go ahead and bounce, man. I'm going yeah. over to Minnesota. Minnesota uh, got something for me, man. Over here. At least I can try this over here. Look, and this nah, I think he did the right move. I think he did a good move. And I think and I'm going to do this again. And yes, I said it. I think it was tampering. Because all of a sudden, you got three quarterbacks 
that you went far in the playoffs with last year with Minnesota. And you went all the way to the championship game. All of a sudden, every single last quarterback on your roster is gone. Because Kirk Cousins was, was open. Oh, now, oh, yeah, Case Keenum, you can go. Sam Bradford, you can go. And look how they treated uh, Bridgewater. Got him out of there. He with the Jets. He talked about retirement. So you don't think was tam- you don't think nothing will tamper with? I don't know. I can't call that one. <laughs> it, it might. It look. It might. It appear. It appear to be that way, but yeah. you never know. You might just see the opportunity. Like, hey, you know what? I can get rid of all these guys. I think I can get Kirk Cousins. And they did. Maybe they had the inside scoop. You right. They got it. <laughs> you right. They did have the inside scoop. <laughs> uh, hmm. they got rid of all of them. How are you going to get rid of Hold up, BT. I think you, I think you deep down the side, you hurt Kirk, Kirk Cousins leaving y'all, man. I hurt, I'm hurt the way he played. Like, I hurt. I'm hurt the way because you. That man played play good. That played, man played good for y'all. What are you talking about? He played when he wanted to. Come on, he played when he his your 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 defense played when they wanted to. That's true. And your too. offensive line played when they wanted to. That's true too. But at the same time, when it came down to uh, winning, <clears> uh, <throat> like two years ago, I'm going back. We was we just had to win. One game to secure a playoff spot it was one game. The Giants came in, I think, the week before we lost to uh, somebody. I can't remember, Carolina. That's how we had to beat the Giants. We had the ball. Oh, here you go. I don't feel like going to the playoffs. Interception. Tony Romo style. Yeah, I said it. You know, like Stephen A. Smith, shot fire. Yeah, I said it. But that's that's what he do. He did he uh he did when that you like that came uh one he he got his head boosted up and he was like yeah I'm the man and he had a great season. He came back the next year and he he you know come uh he just built up numbers and I agree with everybody analysts. But he didn't win. He didn't show that he wanted to win because every he was throwing the coverage. When it came down to the end, came down to the end, he won't find the open guys. He won't. He just want to boost his numbers up. He wrote records. That's all he done. I think you put too much blame on 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 that situation. <laughs> if that man breaking records, you got to have somebody. You got to have a defense out there that can stop somebody too. Oh, and that's Y'all true. just ain't had that, man. We and then I blame the coach too. I think we had Jay Gruden not a good coach. I think uh, when uh, you needed uh, that coach who would get in your face and stuff like that, and Jay Gruden ain't that type of coach. Nah. Y'all need uh, damn, who y'all need? Don Madden to come back down now. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> and you got, and, and you got to bring Doug Williams back. Yeah, I and, and put, and I say, and I say this, and people, I said, you are uh, if for a Redskins fan, if people go back in the history of the Washington Redskins, why didn't you go bring a player, a coach off Joe Gibbs tree? Who play for Joe Gibbs? Who know the Redskin family? Know the Redskin history? Y'all went always going outside the box and got somebody who don't know nothing about the Redskin history. And when y'all come there, y'all go to Joe Gibbs and stuff like that, but you're not listening to him. So, no. Yeah, I coach the Redskin, and y'all will win every game. Yeah, that's sure. <laughs> but you probably try to get out there and get in a couple of plays. I sure will. Look, let me nah, get in. 
Yeah. <laughs>